What's going on guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the Magic Roundabout. This video was recommended to me by someone who watched a previous video of mine, which was the Magic Roundabout Traffic Circle or Traffic Roundabout. And they basically described this video as the original Magic Roundabout. I obviously, I don't believe this is probably where the term Magic Roundabout came from for the traffic version or traffic circle, but um, I thought this would be a really interesting thing to check out considering I've only watched Mr. Blobby or I saw a clip of Mr. Blobby, which was really interesting to say the least. And so I've been wanting to check out some other clips about children's television shows and not just children's television shows, but just all sorts of like clips of interesting shows and things like that, especially the older stuff from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, I just find that really interesting. And I think this type of stuff can give you a little bit of insight into what the culture has been like in a particular area or a particular country uh, at given periods of time. So anyways, guys, I don't really have any clue what to expect here. Uh, this is a fairly short video, about five minutes long. And so obviously I don't think it's probably a full episode. It says 1970s episode here, but I'm guessing well, maybe it is. I don't know if they were only five minutes long, but um, I just think this would be really interesting to check out another uh, sort of, uh, you know, TV show that you guys may have grown up with. At least I'm guessing this is a TV show. I can't imagine what else it would be. That's, that's what it looks like based off the thumbnail. So anyways, guys, enough rambling for me. Let's go ahead and check out the Magic Roundabout from the 1970s. <laughs> be. I'm not sure though. Hmm. Roll up, roll up. I have a special announcement. To me, everyone, to me. Come along. Don't be shy. Now, where is everyone? Never hear when you want them. To me, everyone, to me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Dylan arrived to see what all the fuss was about, and he asked Ermintrude to give him a ride. You'll have to pay, dear. Pay? said Dylan. Like, uh, pay? Pay? Of course. Oh no, ma'am, why pay? I'm a bus. Now get off. Dougal decided to take action. Now wait a moment, he said. Now, wait just one moment. What's all this about being a bus? Oh, are you a bus? said Brian. What's your number? Number 12, said Ermintrude. Well, let's all go down the strand. Poor old thing. Thinks she's a bus. Florence arrived. Oh, hello, she said. Is this, are they reading a book? Like, is this based off of books? Because that's kind of the, kind of the feeling I get from this by the, he said, she said, like, I don't know. Maybe it's not, but that's kind of the, it's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Is this, is a book series turn into some sort of TV show? Maybe it's not. It's just kind of what it feels like to me. The train stopped. Hello! Oh. Oh, hello, old thing. And what might you be doing, if I may make so bold? Madam? I'm a bus. A number 12. Oh, let's all go down the strand. <laughs> uh, may I have a word? Said the train. <laughs> of course, said Ermintrude. <laughs> Any amount, do you think? The train got rather agitated. They want no buses on my patch, she said acidly. Oh, come now, said Ermintrude. But the train wouldn't listen. 
and she went off in a huff. Buses, indeed, she said. Whatever next? Oh, dear, said Ermintrude. No wonder she was nationalised. Ah, well, I'll just have to show her. I've still got time for a snack, and I'll still beat her to South End. I think I've given her far enough start. There was a confrontation at the crossing. I have right of way. Oh, hoity toity. Now, ladies, this will not do. Do it will not. Well, make her get out of the way of my bus, said Ermintrude. Oh, dear, said Dougal. No wonder the country's going to the dogs. <laughs> mm, what am I saying? So, were these episodes that short? I mean, that that was, wow. I'm not sure if they cut it off or if that was the end of the episode. I mean, obviously the ending is here, but I'm not sure if that was. Anyway, you know, like it just reminds me that, you know, the graphics are, you know, so much, you know, obviously not nearly what they are today, but the creativity of the shows back then were so much better, in my opinion. You know, um, you know I also feel like you could... You know, you go back to the 70s, 80s, and even 90s for the most part, and you could leave your kids, you know, watching this stuff and not have to really be concerned about what are they going to be putting into these shows. Nowadays, you don't know. You cannot just trust that any of these shows anymore, in my opinion. Um, you know, I wouldn't just leave my daughter watching any old thing, any old TV, kid shows, even kid shows, right? I wouldn't leave her in front of the TV watching any kid shows because... I don't trust these people. I don't trust what they're putting. I don't have no clue what they're going to say episode to episode anymore. It's insane. Um, but um, I thought this was really interesting. Um, I bet a ton of you probably have good memories from shows like this growing up in the UK. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the type of thing I would have saw um, kind of on Mr. Rogers a little bit. Um, he kind of had this segment where he did the puppets and stuff, and he had this train that would go into this wall and come out into this, uh, make believe fairy tale land. Uh, it was just really, really cool when I look back at, at some of those older TV shows, and I'm sure you guys feel the same with shows like this. Uh, but yeah, guys, I thought this was interesting. Um, I definitely enjoy checking things like this out. Like I said, it gives me a good perspective on, you know, kind of where the culture was. It gives me a good idea of what some of the stuff that a lot of you probably watched as kids. And uh, yeah, it's just really awesome. So thank you very much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.